right, I wanted to save part four for last. Because I cannot physically prove this at this point, but I want to talk about something that I've been doing in the island. Uh, one of the things that I've done is the same treatment I did to my Dunstan chestnut trees and my food plot. That is bringing boron up here and broadcasting around three pounds per acre rate. Now this is a quarter pound acre. If you can do the math in your head, you can determine how much boron I set out. And it's on a clip of three pounds per acre. So just divide it by four and that's the rate that I, that I broadcasted. Now, the thing that I'm running into is when I'm applying boron to plants is the sheer production increase I see in my Dunstan chestnut trees. Uh, when I first started doing that, at first there was only three or four burrs in some of the trees. There wasn't a lot of acorns. I started applying boron to those trees. The following year, the nut production was just insanely out the roof. The limbs were so weighted down, the tree looked like it was going to snap the limbs. This oak tree is doing the exact same steps. It started off extremely small. I set the boron out. There was roughly 200 nuts between these two trees. None of those other trees produced. I came back, I hit boron out here again uh, in the early or late winter, early spring. I want to apply boron when it comes to trees before the trees leaf out. So if you start seeing those buds swell up or you know about the time frame when your buds start swelling, go ahead and apply it. That is where to me, you get the best result. And I can't, this is why I can't physically prove this, but this tree right here in front of your screen, there are so many nuts in that smaller a canopy of a tree that I believe the boron has affected this tree and has caused a rapid uh, production uptick. Now, if you remember my statement was a year ago or so about the study that UT did with fertilizing oaks, uh, you need to realize that that fertilizer was your P and K fertilizer. Boron is not a P and K fertilizer. It is a totally different element than those three. And I believe that is why both of these oak trees right here are skyrocketing in production and for trees that are in their first year especially this one and those back there there is a tremendous increase for a first time tree usually they're either going to make quite a few nuts or hardly any you might find a handful when they first start getting going but these trees all across the board once they jump into making nuts it has been game on from the start so I think the boron is really packing extra production on these trees. And I'm going to do my own personal uh, project with this. And I'm not going to give boron to the big oaks because I know what they produce. It would negate the study for me if I give it to those big trees. So I'm going to keep it away from those oaks, which means there might be one or two oaks in the island that may not get a dusting of boron yet. I, I will determine that as I do my broadcasting rates. But if all these trees in the island are suddenly showing potential to outproduce these big ones, because I'm telling you right now, pound for pound or size for size on this tree, it is more than twice the rate of what these big ones are doing, just based on uh, the amount of nuts I'm seeing on this tree. That is insanely high. Now, one reason I'm kind of giddy about that too is the fact over here when I did this cleanup to fix this oak tree, there's no boron applied to this tree. And there never has been. And therefore, the production on this tree is slow to get started. There are nuts in the tree, but there's not, there's not a vast quantity of nuts considering that is literally the largest oak tree that I've worked on improving in this area. It should be smoking those other these other white oaks in size alone. It should be, you know, double or triple what the, the possibility could be for the oaks. 
So what I may end up doing as part of my project is I'm going to finish cleaning up uh, surrounding trees. Obviously, I don't have permission to cut this hickory tree down. I would cut both of these down in a heartbeat if I could, but I can't. So I'm going to clean up two trees that I find that are important. The wild cherry is going to be uh, girdled and the uh, oh the uh, locust tree right here is also going to be girdled because there is a strong possibility I could damage the oak tree if I simply cut it down. So I'm not going to do that to that oak, but I will at least kill that tree off and give it a huge hole right here to work with. That is at least uh, about a 20, 18 to 20 foot wide uh, tree top there that's gonna be out of the way. So that's a huge advantage for that oak tree. I will come back in here. I'm gonna apply boron to this white oak. And next year, when it comes to looking at the nut crop, if this tree is so loaded down with acorns, I think that the University of Tennessee seriously needs to consider what happens when boron is applied only, not the other fertilizers, just boron. And if the production jumps well past leaving a tree alone, that's the route to go for your woods. I know it seems weird, but I would do that for my deer because I don't have a lot of oaks. And if I can double or triple the rate of a tree's production just by simply broadcasting a few pounds of boron or less, you better believe I'm going to do it. So this island is the guinea pig, guys. What is going to happen to these trees as I continue my boron regiment? Will they weight themselves so far are so heavily that the trees start leaning severely like that one's starting to do. I can even see the lean in this tree now. It's insane the amount of weight, but you're also putting a lot of stress on these trees. So the side effect is maybe the nut production, let's say it does work and it's proven that it actually increases production. I can already see snapped limbs up in this tree. There's little pockets of brown dead limbs where the nuts outweighed the limb so much it just finally gave out so you are taking a risk of loading your tree up so heavily that you could damage it in the future so that is also a could be a bad side effect into way too many nuts being produced but we'll see what happens it's just something i'm super strongly considering and every fall i want to do a video update on this progression to see what happens all right, guys, you have a great day, and I really hope you enjoy these type of videos.